Hey everybody, welcome back. It is me, Luke Mick here, and this is my review for Chef. So Chef Stars is written by and directed by John Favreau, at least I believe that's you pronounce his name. He was the guy who directed, I believe, Iron Man 1 and 2. I'm not really sure, but this movie is basically about a chef in California, played by John Favreau, who is a great chef. He makes some of the best dishes in the area, and he works at a really nice restaurant. Now, Dustin Hoffman is his boss, and he is telling him, okay, the food critic is going to be here uh, in just a couple of days. He's one of the biggest food critics in the area. He's a really big deal, and John Favreau really wants to impress this guy with a special dish, but Dustin Hoffman says, no, 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 don't make anything special. Just do what you're used to. To doing just give them the basic you know our restaurants basic stuff and John Favreau doesn't like that he wants to really get creative and impress this guy but his boss is kind of has him by the balls and won't let him do it long story short the film or the food critic I always want to say film critic because that's what I kind of do but the food critic did not like the food that was made for him he said some very bad things about John Favreau and he didn't take it lightly this uh, this chef John Favreau I don't I hope I'm saying that name right cuz I've been saying it a lot anyways they start a whole Twitter battle over the internet or over Twitter and and long story short, the chef loses his job and he decides to open up a food truck with his good friend John Leguizamo, Zamo, whatever, and his son played by, I believe, Oliver Platt. At least that's the name on my poster here. I'm going to assume that that is that kid. So, Chef is a movie that I really was excited for. Ratatouille is one of my favorite Pixar movies. I just love food. I'm kind of a picky eater, actually I'm a very picky eater, but I just think that there's a lot of magic into the making of food, and I always liked Ratatouille for that, and then there was a live action movie now, Chef, that's all about that, so I was really excited to see it, and I gotta tell you guys, it was a pretty dang good movie. Now the acting overall was very, very good. Um, John Favreau really put his heart into this role. His character is very fleshed out, especially the re relationship with his son. John Leguizamo in this movie, he's a guy that's been kind of annoying me lately. He was and Ride Along and Walking with Dinosaurs. I feel like he's just been getting a lot of really bad roles lately and I was hoping that he could kind of redeem himself in this movie and he did. I really liked his character. He cracked a lot of good jokes. The son in this movie, the kid actor, usually I don't like kid actors, but you know, maybe that's kind of a new thing because usually I say in my reviews, usually I don't like the kid actor, but lately I've been saying, you know what, I like that kid actor. I think they're getting better. This kid actor was very good as his son. You, you got to know a lot about this kid. He had a very kind of muddled relationship with his father and it was just fun watching their relationship grow and fester throughout the entire movie. And, you know, there are a lot of different people in this movie. Robert Downey Jr. is there for a little bit. Scarlett Johansson. Everyone in this movie does a pretty solid job. And the directing in this movie really reminds me a lot of Iron Man in some cases. I mean, it is the same director. But just, it, this movie doesn't have, like, action or anything. But, um, just the way it was directed was nice. And the cinematography was really bright and colorful. And it was a really nice movie to look at. And the, the scenes when they were filming the making of the food, were impeccable. I loved watching the food be made, and I don't know if John Favreau actually knows how to make all this food, but I thought it looked very, very tasty, and me and my friends actually went to Red Robin after watching this movie to get some food, because it made us so hungry. So you guys, don't go into this movie on an empty stomach, because you're going to leave with your mouth watering. So, overall, I thought Chef was a pretty enjoyable movie. I will say that it is something that we've seen quite a bit of. It's pretty cliched, but overall, it's a very heartwarming and nice, uplifting story with great performances, and it looks really, really good. So, this is Luke Mick signing off. I forgot to give it a score. Four, no, it's eight. Four out of five stars. You guys, just please subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.